Musa, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Carly, and I am doing a crime story from each of the 50 states. Now, today we are moving on to New Mexico, so let's just jump right in. On Saturday, December 10th, Rio Rancho Police Dispatch received a call from a male identified as Zane Skinner who made concerning statements about a homicide that occurred at his residence, according to RRPD Lieutenant Jacqueline Reedy. After officers arrived to the residence, Michael Skinner, Zane's dad, was found dead with a gunshot wound. When the police first showed up, Zane said that he was trying to look around and then he tried running from cops and he armed himself with a skateboard and even tried to tackle one officer. I mean, dude's got guts. We've got to give him that, I guess. Armed with a skateboard. I, mm. According to a criminal complaint filed in magistrate court, I think that's how you say that, magistrate? Yeah. Michael Skinner suffered two bullets to the cranium. So, oof fatal fail shooting even if it was only one bullet zane told the responders that he waited 24 hours to call 911 because he did not know what to do with the corpse Ooh. sorry it's late when i'm recording this it's alleged that zane was going to try to dismember the body so freaky he was taken to RRPD for an interview where he agreed that he'd provide a statement and admitted that he was, in fact, the one that shot and killed his dad. Zane told investigators that he woke up at 5 a.m. on December 9th, took a 45 caliber handgun from the home's garage, went into his dad's bedroom, woke him, and asked him if he abused animals. And then he shot his dad. I don't really understand what the point of that was, but... He then confirmed that he shot his dad twice in the head, drug the body to the bathroom, found a knife, and stabbed his dad at least five times. After his dad was dead, he took his dad's wallet. I don't know why I wrote it with dad in there so much. Um, anyways, he took Michael's wallet and then went to an ATM with the atten intent of withdrawing money to buy supplies to dispose of the body. So probably to help him dismember as well. The officers claimed that it looked almost like someone had tried to clean the bedroom and bathroom up, but of course, he was not actually able to, and it was still a mess. A neighbor said that on the night of the murder, they heard a loud bang and the garage door opened and closed frequently. Zane is now being charged for murder. This isn't Zane's first run-in with police, however, less than four weeks before he killed his dad, he was arrested and charged with criminal trespassing after he allegedly tried to break into a neighbor's home, a charge which he fully admitted guilt to. I don't- it was weird because, like, cops said that they just found him, like, standing outside the home. And it was actually the nanny then that had brought this up saying, you know, like, oh yeah, he'd been arrested, like- not even four weeks ago. I don't understand. Like, something's got to be up with him. I don't know if it's, like, mental illness, maybe. Or just something doesn't seem quite right. Because, like, he broke into someone's home. He broke into somebody's home and then just stood there. And then cops came and he was like, oh, yeah, that was me. Sorry. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm very interested in hearing what you guys think about this case. I know it wasn't a very big one, but New Mexico really did not have much to really do a video on. Like, there just wasn't many stories that had much information. So for this one, this was literally what I could gather. Um, if you guys live in New Mexico, definitely comment down below what you know about this case. You know, preferably to be fact, of course, because... You know, if you live in the state, I'm sure you've heard a little bit more about this or just even know some more speculation or whatever. So I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say about this case, but that is it for me today. I hope that you guys did find this interesting. And if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. That really helps boost my videos out into the algorithm a little bit more, get on more people's explore pages. Um, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a video every single day. I think for probably the past 22 days i have not missed an upload so i'm fairly consistent with uploading every single day um but if you don't want to subscribe that's cool 
Thanks for hanging out with me anyways, and for those of you that will be coming back tomorrow, I will see you then with another true crime career video. Bye guys!